realized I was Gen Con, I was walking around trying to find something unique. Now, I'm a big sucker for World War II and, and war games. And one of my favorite card games of all time was a game from Pinnacle, I think it was, and it was called The Last Crusade. It was a great World War II game, and you would be either the Germans or the Russians or the Americans, and you would fight back and forth, and it was a lot of fun. Well, I was going by, and I saw a booth, and I saw something that caught my eye. The Last Front, a strategy card game set in World War II. Is it any good? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's go down to the table and take a look. So I'm not going to go over every rule, but I'm going to give you a good idea how this game works. What you're doing is trying to fight over territories. And say we turned over this, there's Russia. So you would battle over Russia. You would get six cards dealt to you from this um, battle deck. Now, the, decks can, uh, the cards can be anything from planes. And you can see there's a number up top, which we'll explain. Soldiers and tanks. Also there's artillery and there's special cards as well as some really cool heroes that can be uh, involved such as Patton, Rommel and a card you'll see draw an event card. Now the way this works is you get six cards to start off your hand. What you're going to do is you're going to say that I'm going to battle for this particular I'm going to battle for Russia. So you may just lay down two points worth of cards. Then you will pass. The next player, depending on what they will do, will take a bunch of cards and maybe go, well, I want that just as bad, and lay down six. Then it'll come back to the next person, and they'll do the same, and then back to you until you, do, you finally go and say, okay, well, there's six. And I'll add another three, which will make it nine. If What would happen then is this person would say, well, that's too rich for me. I'm going to withdraw. Now, at the beginning of, their, at the, beginning of the phase, they get to draw a card. Now, when they withdraw, they also get to draw another card in their hand. But these cards go away. So, they would withdraw. If you are the last person standing, then you would get this territory and another territory would flip over well say another person has doesn't want this territory let's just flip over uh, something else say they already have a United States and they want that Russia they can either declare to get your Russia or take the card that's on top of the pile here now another thing that also happens in here is there's all kinds of special cards there are cards that will give plus one to things. You can hold on to them and play them at a certain point. You have to really think when you're going to play these cards because you don't know what the other person has in their hands. And of course there's event cards that you can actually from your battle cards actually say draw an event card. And this event can change the whole outcome of the game. And there's all kinds of different things that can either help or hurt you in some ways. Some of the heroes give special abilities and things like that, and playing this is very strategic because you only have a certain amount of cards in your hand. Six to start with, plus a draw card. So you have to be very smart, know when to withdraw, because if you withdraw at the wrong time and you only have a couple cards, that next battle, you only get to draw one card. So you'll have three cards to hopefully fight for something when maybe somebody else withdraw, withdrew and figured they would wait for a particular card. The game is won when you get either, um, depending on the conditions that you decide to set, either three of a kind or two of a kind or one of each type of country, which would be these three right here. Whoever has that first is declared the winner and that's how you play Last Front. Let's go up top and get my final thoughts on this very very good game wow this is a great game I really like this it's very strategic when I first saw the cards I was kinda like oh well maybe but when I started to play this game this is a great thematic World War II game plays in about 20 minutes 25 minutes depending on how many people you have a lot of fun 
you really got to think, you got to know when to play the cards, when not to play the cards, when to play your specials, when to play a card that will give you an event because it can hurt you as much as help you. This is a great game and if you go to PlowDigital.com you can order this. I wish when I saw the booth I bought everything they had. They had a nice case, a metallic case and they had all the expansions for it. I really wish I got my hands on everything. but. I guess I'll just have to go to PlowDigital.com and buy it all up. This is a fun game. Give it a shot. A nice quick war game to kind of break up some of those three or four hour games that we'll be going over soon. Well, that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Until next time, I'm Rob Orn. We'll see you soon.